Hey, welcome to Electron Online and now we're going to review the midpoint formula. And before we actually look at the real formula, we're going to do a little example on the number line to see how this actually works. If I had to take two points on the number line, let's say point number 8 and point 14, so 14 and 8, and I wanted to find the middle, the midpoint between those two, how do we do that? Well, if we don't look at any formulas, we just kind of look at it, you can say, well, the middle point is right in the middle between those two would be the number 11. And if you do that, you say, well, you would be right. But how do we calculate that? And a lot of times what we do is we take the difference between the two numbers and divide by 2. For example, if we take 14 minus 8, that gives us 6, divided by 3 gives us 3, which is this point right there. And that's, of course, not the middle point between those two. So when you subtract the two, 14 minus 8 divided by 2, we get 6 divided by 2, which is 3, which is not the right way to do that. To our surprise, to find the middle point, we're actually supposed to add those two points. So if we add the two points together, 8 plus 14, and we divide by 2, well, we get 22 divided by 2, which gives us 11, and that is the correct value. So to find the middle or the midpoint between any two values, you simply add those two values together and divide by 2 to get the midpoint. So now, of course, we need to expand that to a two-dimensional plane, the xy-axis. So in our next video, now that we know how to do this, we're going to show you how to do it in general, and then we'll show you an example on how to do that on the xy-axis as well. So stay tuned if you're interested in how to find the midpoint formula.